law of multiple proportions. So let's take two different compounds made up of the same two elements. So in our example, we're going to be talking about carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. That's two different uh, compounds, but they're made of the same two elements, carbon and oxygen, but they're arranged in different ratios. Carbon monoxide is one to one, atom to atom, and carbon dioxide is one to two, carbon to oxygen. We know how to talk about the mass ratios. We talked about that's the fact that the atoms come together. These atoms have different masses. So the ratio of mass of, of the of by mass of the atoms in a molecule, we're going to find that number. We know how to do that. But if we have two different compounds with the same elements, then these mass ratios of the two different compounds are going to be related to one another by a multiple. The reason they're going to be related to each other is because these molecules can only join by, by taking on more atoms in discrete bundles. So mathematically that works out so that the mass ratios are going to be related. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.